did you believe in tithes and offerings? Oh, tithes and offerings! Oh, now I'm gonna let Captain Uzziah come up. I'm getting hoarse. Now I'm gonna say this. Oh, no, no. Oh, you want me to do it? Okay, you want me to go through it. Get to the room. Okay. Okay, so, sir. I'm gonna explain. He asked me about tithes and offerings. Get to the room 14 and 21, I believe. Huh? No, no, you gotta go to the beginning first. Stop right there. I'm gonna help you. Just listen. Listen, young man. I'm gonna help you. Okay. I want all of you. His question is tithes and offerings. Should we pay it? Should we not pay it? Watch this. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 22. Thou shalt truly tithe in all thy increase of thy seed that the field bringeth forth year by year. The first understanding of tithes is that it's a tithe of your field, of your seeds. So that's, before we read on, we've all been taught that tithing is money, right? Yeah. But that's not what the Bible said. Let's read it again. Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed that the field bringeth forth year by year. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose to place his name there. The tithe of thy corn, the tithes of your corn, of thy wine, tithes of your wine, of thine oil, tithing of your oil, and the firstlings of thy herd, and the tithing of the firstling of your herd, and of thy flocks, and of your flocks that thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Where'd the money come in? I ain't read nothing about money yet! We just read about tithes and it never mentioned money. Let's read on. Maybe I'm misinterpreting. And if the way be too long for thee, now, you had to give tithes and explain tithes. It was for the Levitical priests who had no inheritance of land. Let's say you were the priest in Jerusalem. You, your job was to teach us, but you had no land of your own. So all of us had to give you 10% of our seeds, our oil, our wine, our flocks, yeah. our herds, morning, that way it kept that. you surviving. Yeah. You running a church. And if the way be too long for these, or now, if, the, if you're in Jerusalem and the way is too long for me to get to you, because I got all these animals I got to get to you. What am I supposed to do? So that thou art not able to carry it. Or if wait, wait, wait. Yes, no, wait a minute. You ask me a question, I'm asking you turn your back on me. But you're listening? Uh, okay, okay, read it. So if that thou art not able to carry it, or if the place be too far from thee, which the Lord thy God shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord thy God hath blessed thee, then shalt thou turn it into money. What did we turn into money? The herds, the flocks, the seeds. If I had to get to Jerusalem, it's too far for me to carry all these animals. It said change it all into money. That way it's easy for me to travel. Watch this. And bind up the money in thine hand, and shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Now when I get to Jerusalem, I gotta take that same money and rebuy everything that I had already sold. Rebuy the flocks of sheep, the goats, the wine, the seeds, so I can bring it to you, the priest. For oxen, for, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatsoever thy soul desireth, and thou shalt eat there before the Lord thy God, and thou shalt rejoice, thou and thine household. So now, yes, listen to me. All the tithes were sheep, seeds, goats, flocks for the priest. Now, you said go to Malachi, right? You mentioned the book of Malachi? Because I heard you mumble that. Give me Malachi. Will a, will a man rob God? Will a, this Malachi 3 verse 8. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have I robbed thee? In tithes and in offerings. 
Ye are cursed with a curse, if ye have wronged me, even the whole nation. Now what we want to listen for is money. We want, we, we want to hear money out of this. The question is, what is tithe? We just read that tithing was 10% of flocks, herds, sheep, seed, flocks. We're going to see if this is, we didn't read that there. Now let's see what it says here. Verse 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that ye may be meat in my house. And prove me now wherein saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the win open you the windows of heaven, and pour out a blessing, and that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. If you pay the tithing, God says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Why? Because when I got the 10% of the fruits of my ground, I brought it to the priest. Right. God said, if you do that, I will rebuke the devourer. What is the devourer? The locusts, grasshoppers. murmur on the tides. Murmur? Yeah, if you don't murmur on the tides, where you get the blessing from? I'm going to explain it to you. Yeah. Now. So far, what we, we have not read a scripture yet that said tithes is money. Right. What we have read so far is that tithe is the flocks of sheep, the seeds, the oil, the wine. You keep saying money, you know why? I'm going to explain why. Get me, you get me, Micah, free of Can you finish that? No, sorry. It said, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, okay. oh, neither shall your vine cast out fruit. Before the time in the field, says the Lord. So if you pay your time, it says neither shall what? Neither shall your vine. What is your vine? Olive vine, grape vine. You understand? It's not mentioned money yet. Neither shall your vine cast out fruit before the time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. So now, money. Where did the money come in with these preachers? Micah 3 and 11. Listen good, all of you. Micah chapter 3, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. You see what the priests and the prophets was doing? Divine teaching for money. Teach, listen, listen, man. Teach, did Jesus Christ teach for money? It's just a lie. Did he teach for money? No. No. But your preachers out here teach for money. That's right. right. That's right. what the ten percent is all about. Right. Now. Watch this. No, I'm going to prove it to you. Listen to me. Listen good. Many of you, especially the woman, pays 10% of their earnings to the pastor. The pastor. Not the pastor. Not the pastor. Okay, the church. Right? You want to say the church. The head of the church. 10% of the money goes to him. Listen. Listen to me. Go ahead. What you want to say? Go ahead. What you want to say? You ain't got a scripture yet. Come with you, scripture. You don't have a scripture neither. Wait a minute, read sure. it again, Micah. Huh? Micah. We want tithes for money is money. Get it. Micah, chapter 3, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priest thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. So God was angry with preachers that divine for money, that teach for money. We don't want your money. All God told us to do give you the message to repent before destruction comes to Jamaica. Right. Because it is coming. Before it comes to America, it is coming. So now, during the time of the apostles, when the apostles collected money, listen good, I'm going to show you what they did with the money. I need all of you to listen. Acts 4, 34. The book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 34. Neither was there any among them that left. For as many as were possessors of land or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet. So the people in Israel, they sold lands and houses and brought the prices of what they sold and laid them at the apostles' feet. Let's see if the apostles got rich. Let's see. And laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. The, the, the apostles 
distributed the money to every man according as he had need. Right. That's how the disciples of Christ did. Does your pastors do that? Does your pastors do that? Do your pastors do that? No. None of us do that. No. All these pastors no. are false. Yeah. Listen good. No. We must obey the Bible. Come on back, Josiah. I'm horse again. Yeah, me come up. My voice is going. Because the bishop is what the truth of scripture shows that the tithes and offerings only pertain to the Levitical priests. That was under the old covenant. Now under the new covenant, we dealt with what? Arms, distribution, so that everybody in the nation will be what? Sure. Will prosper. They will have food on the place. Give me that. Malachi chapter 2, verse 8. But ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. So the Levitical priests are departed out of the way. They were departed out of the way that God instructed them. Because the, what? They were supposed to take what? The animal sacrifice and bring it up to as an offering to God. But a lot of the priests was keeping the animal sacrifice. They're corrupting the company. So God says, ye are departed out of the way. You know what? Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. So God says, ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi. Because tithes and offerings was given to who? Was it given to everybody? No. It was given to who? Who? The Levites. Let's get Hebrews 7 verse 5. So tithes and offerings were given to the Levitical priests. Because what? They were not given a heritage in the land of Israel. Their heritage was the tithes and offerings to be able to sustain them. Right. Now under Christ, the covenant has changed. Give me Hebrews 7 verse 5 now. The book of Hebrews chapter 7 verse 5. And verily, they that are all the sons of Levi, who received the office of the priesthood. So they which are of the sons of Levi, which have received the offerings of the priesthood. Because the offerings only came to the priests of Rion. Have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law. So the commandment was for the priesthood to take tithes according to the commandment of the Lord. But when Christ came on the scene, what happened to the tithes and offerings? And the priesthood of the Levites. Get verse 12 now. Verse 12. For the priesthood being changed. Uh oh. The priesthood being changed. The priesthood being changed, both changed. For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. Uh oh, one part of the law is that for the Israelites to get tithes and offerings. Right. So that now Christ is on the scene, the priesthood was changed. Who's the priest now? Christ. We no longer went to the Levites. So guess what? We no longer tithe and get the offering. Just like we brought, um, brought out in Acts 4. Right. We gave we gave the apostles the money and they distributed to all that have need. Because and, um let's see in the book. So alright, right. So the apostles distributed the money to all that had need. Because the Levites, the priesthoods were being hypocrites. Give me Matthew 23 verse 23 now. Because what these Christian pastors in the churches are doing, they're robbing the people blind. Why you guys cry for money? Why you guys ask? Because a lot of you guys in Jamaica are in poverty. And our priests are driving Mercedes, they're eating the fattest, but they now have not taken care of people. Because the, the, the job of a priest is to feed the flock of God, to take care of those that are in need. They have not done that. We are. St. Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, when ye pay tithe of mint and of a, and a nice and coming and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. So let's take that from the top one more time slowly. Read that again. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. So Christ says, woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. Mean death and destruction to the leaders, the Levites, the Levit Levitical priests. Read on. Hypocrites. Christ called them hypocrites. Read on. For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. So Christ says you pay tithes of men or nice, and you have omitted the weightier matters of the law. Because Christ, the whole purpose in the Christian church, 
the whole thing is what? Give me 10%. You don't hear them about teaching the laws of God. They have omitted the weightier matters of laws. But what? They refer to you as for the money. Because they want you guys to fill their pockets. It's the same thing. They are no worse than the white men that came here and depleted you for the natural resources of this land. Right. They're the same people that are destroying you. And guess who's destroying today? These lying Christian pastors. Right. And we are here to destroy everything that goes against God. That's right. Everything that exalts itself against this Bible. That's right. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.